Hello everybody, King of Clubs back once again with another episode of King Books Raw, the series where I book Monday Night Raw, book it my way, hope you guys had a good Easter, and uh, we're not going to waste any time, we're going to get straight into the action, so we got seven matchups for you guys tonight on a packed card as usual. Okay. There we go, I had to kind of scoot over my camera maybe a little bit more. There we go. I'm center. I don't like being off center. So, in real life, there was a superstar shakeup that WWE held, where people moved around, they shifted brands, some people even left WWE altogether. That's not happening here. This is me booking. Me booking raw. Me booking all the shows plus some more. Booking it my way with the roster that I've set forward. If we decide to do a shakeup, it won't be until later on. So, let's get into it. So, we got a match rematch from last week. The new number one contender, Drew McIntyre, beat Seth Rollins in a non title match. And actually, pretty pretty roughly, you know, beat, beat down the champion. Rollins has asked for a rematch. McIntyre won it for the title, but that match will not happen tonight. That will happen here in a couple weeks. About a week, uh, a little less than two weeks. <clears throat> here comes the Scottish Terminator. Drew McIntyre, number one contender for the Universal Championship here on Raw. He has stated that he wants to obliterate Seth Rollins, take that title from him. The title that he won by beating Brock Lesnar on the first episode of the new Raw. The question is, will McIntyre be able to take that title away from the Kingslayer, the Architect? <clears throat> As of right now, it's very much up in the air. <clears throat> we'll see what happens when McIntyre takes on Rollins in this rematch. Here comes Seth freaking Rollins. Universal Champion Seth freaking Rollins, that is. And the boy looks good in red. Rollins making his way down to the ring. <clears throat> Looks amped up as ever. He's going to need all that energy if he's going to take down Drew McIntyre. McIntyre lurking around, not far behind. Just 
Surprisingly enough, Magdar has not tried to blindside Rollins, at least not in this particular matchup yet. So if he can put another beating on the champion, to make his job at our pay-per-view events that much easier. Rollins. Oh! Got an early offense, they got caught with a punch. Oh! There's a buried suplex of sorts. And for a pinfall, didn't even get a one count. Nice spin around DT from from Rollins. Sidekick to the mid section there by McIntyre. Oh! Counter. Rollins bouncing off the ropes. Hanging up McIntyre on that middle rope. Rollins is kind of embarrassing the challenger at the moment. Well, his future challenger, I should say. Ooh! Uh, downward spiral of sorts of flatliner. Oh! For me, pinfall didn't even get a one again. That's the thing about McIntyre is that he is relentless. Oh, and for a diving elbow, missed completely. Punch to the midsection. Another basement DT by Rollins. Roll through. Oh, and a super kick. Goes for a cover. One. Two. Rollins shouldn't be that surprised. Oh, let me go for the stomp there. Went to go for a kick, did not connect. Oh, rib breaker by McIntyre. Oh, and for the Glasgow kiss, got countered. And a sling blade by Rollins. Rollins going up, possibly looking for a frog splash. McIntyre very wise to get out of the way. Rollins stops, brings him in with the suplex. Looking to go up top. Oh, and changes his course, goes for an elbow instead, into a pin. One, two. Kick out two. Into the corner there. Oh, flatliner face first into the middle turnbuckle. Oh no! Oh, McIntyre got caught again. Oh, another counter there by Drew. Throwing Rollins over the top rope to the floor. Oh no, thrown over into the timekeeper's area. Oh! It's a back elbow there by McIntyre. Ooh, hard punch. Oh, and a big chop. McIntyre in control at the moment. Oh, a clothesline. And for a lariat missed. Rollins, oh! Bouncing McIntyre's head off the post. Oh, went for a dive off the top rope. Missed. But he may not have gotten the proper footing there. Oof. Oh, backed into the ring apron as well as the, uh, like the side of the post there. Oh, he's going for a pin. One. I made two. Oh, 
Oh, drops him down face first yet again. Lining up top. There's that frog splash. Goes for the pen. One. Two. No. Only two. Oh, kick to the midsection. Kick. Uh oh. Caramel Rollins. She gets the stomp. Goes for the cover. One. Two. No. McIntyre kicked out of the stomp. Rollins backs off. Ooh. Counter punch there. Rollins scoop into a Michinoki driver. One. Two. Oh. Another close. Close kick out there. Ooh. Face buster yet again. Oh, I went for that step up drop kick. Did not catch it. Oh. Caught that DET there. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Another kick out for McIntyre. Rollins sees blood and is going after the head. Oh, running elbow drop. Roll through. Oh! It's gonna be time to burn it down. Oh no! Oh! Give him a short version of the Glasgow kiss. Oh, look at that! Springboard Tornado DT into a cover. One, two, Fans almost even decide with McIntyre. Rollins beating him bloody. Rollins got in mind here. Oh no. It's caught by McIntyre. Oh look at this. Into a hanging vertical suplex. Strength on display by McIntyre. Champion's in trouble. Oh! Not in that much trouble. Oh, he was gonna go for the suicide dive, didn't get to use it. Oh! Caught him with that single leg drop kick. Oh no! Rollins got caught. Oh, playing it again. Oh, there's the frog splash. That block. Counter there. Kick to the midsection. Oh! And there's the stomp yet again. One, two, three. Rollins pins McIntyre. It took some work, but Rollins eventually got McIntyre down. 
That was the first stomp that she kicked out of. Rollins successful tonight in this non-title encounter. <clears throat> but in just under two weeks, first pay-per-view of, of the Raw SmackDown brands. That'll take place. And we'll see what happens when they actually fight for the title. Alright, we're getting ready for tag team action now. Got the B team. Getting ready to go one on one against the tag team champions, the Revival. Here comes the B team. Paris Axel, Bo Dallas. Held gold before. But they uh, have a tall task ahead of them. <clears throat> against the Revival, a, a true tag team in my opinion. Right now, they are the number one contenders for the tag team titles. But they need an impressive showing tonight to really, really drive home, really drive home the point that they belong. Because here comes the top guys, top team on Raw. Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. Talked to them possibly trying to leave WWE at one point. But now that I'm in charge of booking, they seem to be much happier. Especially now that they're wearing the tag titles once again. It's gonna be Dash Wilder starting up with Bo Dallas. At least an early side headlock. Which is a top wrist lock there. Oh, nice counter there by Dash Wilder. Oh! Nice chain wrestling there between these two guys. Punch and that counter there by Bo Dallas. Oh, look at that, an early running Bulldog, or Bodog as it's called in the past. Oh, look at this, a nice counter by Dash Wilder. Typically they say no fists, no flips, just fists. A little bit of flipping going there. Now in comes Scott Dawson. Look at his tag team expertise. Oh, double team by the revival. You know, Dawson made an interesting point during an interview I had with him earlier. He said <clears throat> he likes to target the legs of his opponents because it makes it that much harder for them to kick out. Tag made, ooh. Axel trade chops with Scott Dawson. 
Dawson now, oh, immediately going after the knee. Curse Axel. Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's mission hold, it looks like. Dawson releasing. Now he gets pushed away by Curse Axel. Oh, it's back in now. Because after the knee, oh! That call it part of a chop block. That one chanted to the side of the knee. Nice Russian leg sweep there. Oh, a back elbow, a hard back elbow to the jaw. Uh oh. Dawson. Oh, there's that right in front chop block to the knee about Alice. She's got to be in a lot of pain. Got to be hurting like crazy right now. Gotta fight his way out of the corner there. Oh no! Got caught with a punch. Oh. Big corner clothesline from Scott Dawson. Ooh, targeting the arm. Tag made to Dash Wilder. Oh, running elbow drop to the spine. Watching tag team expertise on display by the champions. Oh. Oh, nice. Off my neck breaker there. One. That kick out before two. Off my surfboard stretch there. Using the knee in the middle of the back to stretch. Well, they're able to make the escape. Oh, look at this. Gets him up. Oh! Got him up on his, uh, on his shoulders there. Oh, looking for a double team again. Caught him, though, with the back elbow. But else in a lot of trouble now. Tag Team Champions. Oh, look at this. Again, working over the knee. Oh. Dawson going for a cover. One. Two. Got two and a half. Oh. Crossface punches to the side of the head. Ooh. Dragon screw leg whip again. Once again, Bo Dallas in excruciating pain. Dawson, Dawson and Wilder here, the revival, they've been. Oh! They're doing their work. Oh! Oh my goodness. Goes for a cover. One, two. Be able to kick out there. I was trying to fight back. He's got an opportunity, needs to tag out. Finally makes the tag to Curtis Axel. Coming in to kind of do the work. Oof. Knee drop. Scott Dawson in trouble now. Up on the shoulders and a counter into an implant DET. Up to the middle rope there. Oh, diving fist drop. Cover. The free opposition. One. Uh, not even a two count. One's well, got to believe that if referee had been in position, that might 
It might have turned out differently. Oh no! Referee being distracted by Bo Dallas. Oh, catches, catches Dawson with the boot. Oh, drop toe hold there. And again, going to work on knee, the knee. Very sound strategy by the revival, namely by Scott Dawson. Trying to cripple the, op the opposition here. Oh, big modified Falcon Arrow there. Oh, whip onto the apron. Oh, no. Counter. Oh, and a drop kick. Austin trying to get to dash. You can tag out. Tag double team here by the B team. Oh, nice double team there. Bo Dallas in for the pin. Oh, one at best. Ash Wilder in there to break it up, but curse Axel. Oh, took care of. Uh, Dash Wilder. Right now they're fighting outside the ring. But this leaves, oh. This leaves just Scott Dawson in there with. Oh. Scott Dawson with Bodalis. Dawson now, oh. Ringing down. Oh, there's that running tackle, the knee. Oh, and a big club under the top or to the floor. Right now, the B team, and they put up a fight against the tag champions with a revival, been in control during this whole match. Three count to three. Chris actually still on the floor. Seemingly out of it. Or Oh, right. Step up drop kick. Nicely done. Chris Axel just now starting to get up. It will be in time. Tag made. Here comes the Shatter Machine. Oh! Cover. One, two, three. And can you say, yeah, the champions, the dominant victory here. Dominant performance by the Tag Team Champions. Oh, look at that front shot block. And the champions... Just... An absolute mugging. Delivering an absolute mugging onto the challengers for their titles. Well, that's at the first pay-per-view for the SmackDown Raw brand in two weeks. Time. Which, that one's gonna be Backlash. Because we're doing the pay-per-views here, we're booking them, we're naming them, we're doing our thing here. Let's get ready for our next matchup. Got women's division action now, a triple threat match between Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, and Ruby Riot. So, 
on last week's episode, you saw Nia Jax dis dispatch of the Riot Squad by herself. Now she's in a triple threat match against the leader, Ruby Riot, along with Becky Lynch. Some are claiming that Lynch is going to be the uncrowned women's champion. That remains to be seen. <clears throat> Comes the relentless one herself. The man has come around, and she wanted a match against Nia Jax. Ruby Riot wanted a match against Nia Jax for what happened last week. So I said, you know what? Everybody gets what they want. You have a triple threat match. Naya wants competition. Ruby wants revenge. And Becky Lynch wants to fight. So you have everybody what they want. Here comes the irresistible force herself. So this match is no qualifications, no counts, the only way to win is by pinfall or submission inside the ring. First woman to do so will be the winner. Who knows? Maybe this might have some type of bearing on who gets a future women's title shot. Here comes Ruby Riot. They are the Riot Squad. That it, they are still intact here on my version of Raw. Ruby be very upset. The Riot Squad members are not with her tonight, though. After that brutal matchup, as bad as that was a handicap match, Nijak still won. Here we go. Triple threat action here. Oh, right. Ruby Riot going after Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch says, okay, fine. I was going to go after Naya. I'll go after you first. Oh. Solid shots in there. Oh. Headbutt by Nia Jax. Now has Becky against the ropes. Oh no! It's hung up on the top rope. Oh, went for a clothesline on Ruby Riot. Missed. Power on display there by Jax. Oh, jumping arm breaker. Already going after the arm. A bigger opponent. Now Jack's fighting back. Oh, on a running DT. Riot in. Oh, on a headbutt. Ooh, STO takedown. Now you can't lose outside the ring, but you also cannot win this match outside the ring either. Oh, Fallout reverse DT by the man. Oh, hurt in the arm. Very sound strategy. Oh, throwing her into Rui Riot. Oh, no. And then giving Rui Riot a. Oh, look at this. Almost got caught there. 
Nice dropping, nice knee drop there by Riot. Going to the top rope. Oh, and a big takedown. Oh, an awkward landing though. Oh, front flip Centon for Nia Jax. All three of these ladies just going after each other. Becky Lynch is kind of out in the middle of the ring at the moment. Oh, look at that roll up attempt. One, two. Going for another one. Becky Lynch at that time able to break it up. Oh, we get taken down with an arm drag. Rolls out to the floor. Oh, back sent on. Ruby Riot looks looking to make a name for herself here. Oh, right kick to the face. Will she get the win? One, two. Oh, Becky Lynch barely in. Oh, he's another flatliner though. Jumping arm breaker. Oh, clothesline over the top rope to the floor. Nia Jax starting to get to her feet. Oh, going for the disarmor. Nia Jax able to power out of it. Oh, blocks the chop. Oh, look at the strength there. Able to get the Beck Exploder suplex. That's the counter there. Oof. Bring four onto the mush. Lunch rolls out to the floor. Riot. Going for a cover on Nia Jax. One. Uh, I am at two count. You're right. Looking Jackson to the corner there. She got in mind here. Shoulder block. Off the ropes. Oh! And kick. And another kick. And another one. Her and Becky went after each other, miss, both missing. Oh, look at this. Oh! Oh, roll up another one. One. Kick out before two. Up on the shoulders and drop neck first. Across that, oh, the top rope, and Nijak just ran right through Becky Lynch. Now going for a pin. One, two, no, kick out, two and a half. Nijak looking to assert her dominance now. Gets tripped up though. Oh, going for another pin. Kick out. Before even a one. Oh, it's starting to turn our attention on Ruby Riot. Battling back and forth. The riot kick connects. One for the pin. One, two, three, and Ruby Riot gets the cover. Or gets the pin. Surprising victory for Ruby Riot. Just raised her stock in the women's division here. Interesting to see how things 
go from here. For Ruby Riot. All right, let's get on to our next matchup. All right, we got a match between Jinder Mahal and Apollo Crews. Singles action up, but you got to believe that if Jinder Mahal's going to be here, the Singh brothers will not be far behind. Here comes Apollo Crews. Yes, he's on Raw right now. Because I'm the one booking the show, so I'm the one setting the rosters. Apollo has a chance now. Why is he looking over his back? Because Mahal will try to blindside him. Apollo Cruz has an opportunity here to really make a name for himself. If he can beat a former World Heavyweight Champion, that can really, really help him out. On the flip side, Jinder Mahal cannot afford to lose. He needs every win to help get himself back on track for, for a championship opportunity. Both these guys need victory. Here comes Jinder Mahal. Singh Brothers, of course, behind, showing their appreciation. Paul has to be aware of them at all times because they have been notorious for getting involved in Mahal's matches. Soon Brothers having words with Apollo Crews outside the ring. Now they're both in the ring and ready to go. Soon Brothers off to the corner where they belong. Quick punch and a lock up there. Side headlock. Top wrist lock. Quick takedown. Apollo now whipped into the corner. You're going for a suplex countered by by Apollo Cruz. Look at this. Oh, nice back suplex. Ooh, big chop. <clears throat> Just for another suplex attempt, countered yet again. He says, okay, look at this. I can do a suplex. You let Mahal think about it. Oh, stalling su miracle suplex there by Apollo Cruz. Spending a little too much time posing though. It's caught with the neck breaker. And now raking at the eyes for free, not getting in there to check that like you should. Bringing the arm. Oh, nice counter there. Apollo, that explosive offense. Mahal getting out of the way. Oh, 
Ooh, modified neck breaker. Nicely done. By Apollo Cruz. Nice, another standing suplex. <clears throat> Scoop. Nope. Counter by Mahal. And neck breaker. Nicely done. Oh, caught, caught that with a DET. Goes into a cover, waited though. I think if he hadn't hesitated, he would have had a better chance of getting the pin. But definitely trying to outsmart Mahal, to say the least. Oh, look at this. Speaking of outsmart him, roll up attempt. One. Oh, kick to the spine. to the knee. Have a counter into a DT of his own. Oh, there's that standing shooting star press. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Two count. Mahal up. Look at this. Go for that. Oh, sit out power bomb. One, two. Oh, look at that. Barely kicked out. So Apollo having to rethink his strategy here. Remember, Mahal's a former World Heavyweight Champion. Oh no, but he's about to be <laughs> suplexed onto the floor. Oh. Sting Brothers, surprisingly enough, not getting themselves involved at this point. Paul getting back in. Oh, look at this. Scoop and a Mishinoshki driver of his own. Followed by a knee to the back. Kick out for two. Under. It's countered all with another reverse DT. Oh, there's that standing, super, standing shooting star press. And for that sit up power on again. Into the cover. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. One of the Singh brothers. One of the Singh brothers is up there. The Samir Singh. Oh. Apollo going out of the ring now. Got yeah, messing with Samir for getting involved in this match. Oh, jawbreaker there by Mahal. And a takedown. Mahal starting to make a comeback here. Oh no, knocking Paul Cruz off the apron onto the floor. Referee begins to count. Wait a second. Oh, Cruz. In the rules a little bit there. Counter. Oh! Kind of a final cut type of maneuver there. Now working over the head and neck. He set up for that Coloss. Now goes for a cover. Kick out by Apollo Cruz. Wait a second. Free is distracted. Oh! 
Went for a low blow, it looks like got caught. Peter Mahal trying to break the rules. About to find out that it does not pay to cheat. Oh, went for a splash. Took too long, though. Oh, DDT. Goes for a cover. One. Now kick out two. Oh, right knee to the side of the head. Mahal now just choking Paulo Cruz. High five reverse chin lock there. Cruz able to escape. Wait a second. Going for a roll up. One, two. Oh, almost had him. Cruz almost had him. Oh, there's that standing shooting star press again. One, two, kick out. Ooh. Took the midsection. Oh, butterfly suplex taking him over. I'm actually the trapezius. Get a good grip on that there. Oh, scoop and a Michinoku driver yet again. Oh, drop to the chest. That looks like a mop out abdominal stretch here. Modified octopus hold or something. They're just wearing down Apollo. Oh! Neckbreaker. Looks like dinner may have been cut open a little bit there. Oh, mid knees to the midsection. Blech. Oh, right at the back. Drop toe hold. Follow sucking wind. Mahal stepping outside. Uh oh. <laughs> Just rolled up as he comes back in. One, two. Wait a second. Oh, Lansom with the DT there. Going in for a cover. One, two. Follow. He's posing, getting a little arrogant. Oh, counter. Oh no. Oh, there's that step of Insigiri. Get some up. One more time. One, two, three. And Apollo Cruz gets the win. Took some work, but Cruz got the victory. See him getting it up there in the ropes, but able to scoot him away to avoid the break. 
<clears throat> There's a point. I believe this is the one where he, where one of the Steamers got involved. And Apollo is moving his way up. A few more victories like that, and he might be seeing a possible championship opportunity in his future. We still got three more matches tonight, folks, so hang in with us. A little bit longer episode than originally planned, but that's okay. Next one we got a real treat for you. We got Kurt Angle taking on Finn Balor. Because we got Kurt Angle when he's still healthy. Finn Balor, of course, at his best. Here comes the Olympic gold medalist himself, Kurt Angle. Back primed, ready to go. The wrestling machine. See if Angle is able to a, pick up another victory tonight, or if it'll be Finn Balor who gets the win. In our last episode, we saw Finn Balor beat John Cena, seemingly on a conquest take out all of their challengers to get back to the universal title picture. Let's see if Finn can continue his winning ways. comes Balor Club. Well, he's the leader of it. Balor, the first ever Universal Champion. Love to get another opportunity at that belt. If he can continue to pick up victories, certainly get that. But tonight he stands across the ring from an Olympic gold medalist, a true American hero, and a legend in professional wrestling. Loving Finn Balor. Alrighty. This will be interesting because Angle, of course, is going to look to ground Finn Balor. Finn Balor is going to look to be using his speed, his agility, his high flying maneuvers. Against Kurt Angle. Lock up early on. Finn gets the upper hand with a quick headlock. Isn't that interesting, uh, of course, nice counter to head scissors. 
Interesting tactic. Going for a lockup early on. The gold medalist. Not the strategy I would employ, but so far. Finn is up. After a quick exchange there. Striking back and forth at the moment. Oh! Mopai's Shine Wizard there. Well placed kick to the side of the head for Finn Balor. Oh, came charting in. Yep. Countered. Putting that angle excelled at. Oh, Sling Blade. Then on the apron. Oh! Taking down Angle. And a front flip tope. Arm strikes. Or in punch. Go catches and. Oh, look at that. Going for the overhead belly to belly suplex. Then blocked. Locking up for the moment. Angle counters. Oh! Another with the stiff clothesline. Or, you know, it takes the stiff clothesline, I should say. Oh no. Or at least German suplex. Angle, for, angle going for an early cover. Then able to kick out. Then, from one corner to the other. Oh, beautiful rain drop kick there by Finn Balor. Going for that reverse implant DT. Oh. At least I can go in up top. Angle is somewhat in the drop zone. Oh, nice counter. Able to roll out of the way. Oh no. German suplex. The second one. And the third one's a release. Your angle in control is not where Finn Balor wants to be. Oh no, ankle lock. An ankle sitting back in it. Then able to break the hold. Oh, went for a drop kick. Finn. Oh, hanging the angle up on the top term or on the top rope. I didn't have the uh, ankle lock in for very long. Ooh. Oh, counter by angle here. Counter by Finn. Oh, and a sling blade. Nicely done. Oh, went for a splash. And we got the knees up, though. Oh, wait a second. Roll up here. One. Two. Angle. Oh, for a counter here. Oh. Didn't have the quite the gas to go for a follow-up off of that. Angle. Ooh. And for the slam. Oh, angle slam. Connects. Into the pin. One. Two. Oh. Barely able to kick out. So 
That was a nice European uppercut. Gets angle against the ropes. Wait a second. Finn runs. Oh, I've been looking to fly. Finn's starting to feel it now. Oh, look at that. 1816. Counter made by Angle. Forearm strikes. Sling blade. Angle on the corner, Finn stepping back. Oh, Ryan drop kick. Finn going to the corner as Angle's in the drop zone. Oh, there's the coup de grace. One, two. Oh, Angle kicks out of the coup de grace. And Finn's in disbelief. He's going to try for it again. One, two. Angle popping up the shoulder. Counter there. For a slam. Counter made by Finn Balor. Couple of strikes. And for that reverse. Oh! Reverse implant DT. And look, go for the finish again. Oh, there it is, coup de grace again on angle. Going for the pin, one, two, three. Ben Balor picks up yet another win. Angle definitely put on a showing. Locking in the ankle lock, hitting the angle slam, hitting those German suplexes. And it took two two coup de grace to two coup de grace to hit the victory. Your winner, Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen. Time for our next matchup here. All right, we got women's division action. Got the current women's champion, Charlotte Flair, taking on Ronda Rousey again. Ronda Rousey. And Charlotte have faced multiple times. In fact, Charlotte won the women's title from beating Ronda Rousey on the first ever Raw that I booked. Now here comes the Queen. Interesting to see what happens in this third encounter here. If Rousey can 
make up for lost ground or if she's going to fall victim to the figure eight yet again. Here comes the best woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Rousey has had a bit of a sour mood on WWE here as of late. Though she's got no one to blame but herself, she's the one who lost to Charlotte Flair both times in the past two weeks. Lock up here. Our player going to work on the arm. Oh! Then blow to the back. Round up fighting back the counter. Sharp flyer taking her to the ground. It's back and forth on the counter scale so far. Oh! Just take down there by Ronda. Now Charlotte immediately going after the knee. She said her goal is not to quit until Rhonda can't walk anymore. Rhonda says that she wants to break Charlotte's arm and then take her title. Player in control for the moment. Forearm strikes. Oh, I'm looking her by the hair. Oof, kicking her while she's down. Oh, trying to hyper extend the knee there. Gonna fire him back with a punch to the midsection there on the queen. On the apron there. Oh! And a takedown by Charlotte Flair. Oh, running spear catches Rousey in the middle of the ring. Goes for the pin. One, two, barely two count. Oh, a couple of kicks to the midsection, stopping Rousey. Just in time for some natural selection. And the queen. Looks to continue her reign. One, two. Rousey kicks out yet again. Ronda Rousey is not if, if she's nothing else other than resilient. Oh, clothesline. A hip toss takedown by Rousey. Oh. And again, sharp player going after the knee. Oh. Trying 
trying to weaken the legs. Careful as I there by Rousey. And hit just one off the ropes. Go after the arm. Trying to weaken Charlotte for the arm bar. Charlotte fights free. Oh, and hits the spear yet again. And again, it's in the middle of the ring. Very wise position for Charlotte Flair. One, two, kick out. By Rousey. Charlotte Flair going to the top rope. She can think it's time for the moonsault. Oh, her double action now didn't connect. It's caught up on the top rope. By Rousey. She now starts working over the arms. And a modified arm bar there. I'm not going for a chin lock. countered. Oh, Charlotte counters. Close line. Oh, Charlotte Flair hits the pin, or hits the uh, moonsault, goes for the pin. Two. Slamming her down. And a second time. Ooh. Oh, Charlotte to the corner there. Oh, the big clothesline. Rousey down on the ground yet again. Charlotte, not holding anything back. Ugh. Taking out the midsection of Ronda Rousey. Now going back to work on the leg. Oh, kick. Rousey caught with another natural selection. Or pulling Rousey to the center of the ring. Or player pulling Rousey to the middle of the ring. Two. Barely able to get able to get her shoulder up at the last second. Though she might regret that. Flair going into the figure four. And then bridging into the figure eight. And Rousey in a whole world of trouble now. And she taps out. Rousey has tapped to the figure eight. So three straight weeks, Charlotte has beaten Ronda Rousey. Thought that was gonna be it. That wasn't it. There's a spear, not very, not very much range or momentum on it, but a spear nonetheless. But it's moon salt. Normally she goes for that outside the ring, but this time taking. Less of a risk by doing it inside the ring and almost got the victory from that. Charlotte Flair wins yet again. Wait a second. Oh! Flair has Rousey. And 
finally has the he backed off let's move on to our main event ladies and gentlemen we got Roman Reigns taking on the new Intercontinental Champion Bobby Lashley in a non-title match because 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 there's no superstar shakeup in my universe, so therefore the titles haven't changed brands. They are where they need to be. And here comes the Almighty, the Almighty Intercontinental Champion that is won a Fatal Four Way match, beating the likes of Jinder Mahal, Baron Strowman, and Apollo Cruz. And after that win, Apollo could be looking at a future Intercontinental title shot after he beat Gender last week. Or, excuse me, earlier tonight. He was involved in their match last week. This is a non-title match between the Almighty and the Big Dog. And here comes Roman Reigns, the big dog. There were some trades, there were some talent exchanges, but we didn't have a superstar shakeup like like the actual WWE roster has. Something that didn't change is that Roman Reigns is on Raw. Whereas he was on SmackDown last time I saw him in real life. Though I've heard that over the weekend he may have been... He might be making some changes. But regardless... The big dog is on Raw here in my universe. And right now he's getting ready to take on the Intercontinental Champion in a non-title match. Passionate crowd, of course, giving Roman a mixed reaction. Lock up here. Ashley gets the standing headlock. Quick takedown. Ooh, a quick punch to the face. Roman Reigns. Oh, back elbow. Roman Reigns already caught off guard. By the Almighty. Wait a second. Oh! Our rain's taking us to the floor. Trading hands with Bobby Lashley. Oh! I love what the clothesline is doing right now. Oh! Got range suplex on the floor. Recount to five. Oh, six. Rowan throwing Lashley into the steps. Range breaking the count as it goes back outside. Oh, dumping Lashley over the barricade. Now we're going back into the ring. Oh, 
catch him with a glide seam blow from that clothesline. Oh, big running clothesline there. It goes for cover. One, kick out by Lashley. Ooh, big headbutt. Oh, look at this Samoan drop. Strength on display. Oof. Oh no, he gets caught with the Superman punch. But he's still up. Oh, that one dropped him though. One, two, kick out. Lashley catching range in the corner. Oh, snake eyes. Oh, counter punch. Reigns able to counter it. Oh, he gets tangled up in the ropes. He still manages to hit the DT. Oh no. Reigns in the corner. Lashley in the corner. Reigns. Oh, charging in. Oh, look at the speed and the strength on display by the Intercontinental Champion, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. Going for a cover. One. Kick out before two. Roman Reigns, oh! Dropping back with a version of the electric chair. Lashley able to get back up to his feet. Oh no! Superman punch connects. One, two. Lashley able to kick out after two. Reigns. And backing up to the corner. Oh no! Went for the spear, but may have taken a little too long. Lashley caught him right on the chin. Oh no! Went for that super spear. Didn't connect as Lashley blocked it yet again. Reigns having to roll out onto the apron. Oh! That time Reigns caught Lashley. A big clothesline there. Oh, now just raining down punches on the ear cutting out champion. Reigns here. Trying to fire himself up. Oh, hits the Superman punch that time. And it rains. Oh no, gets caught with the DT, attempting the spear. Now mind you, Bobby Lashley loves doing a spear of his own. You see guys, very similar in a number of ways. Oh, Reigns trying to get Lashley out of the ring. Lashley wants to go on his terms. Uh-oh. Oh, dropping Reigns face first against the steel steps. Elbow drop. That's Farrah McCurry take over there. The Reigns, oh, went for a clothesline on the floor, did not connect. Oh, a big headbutt there. Busting up Lashley, and I'll go for a pin. One, two. Kick out after two. On Reigns. Oh, gives Snake Eyes to Lashley. Oh, went for a clothesline and get dropped. Draped over the middle ropes now. Lashley. Uh, 
Oh, range is fired up though. Oh, nice counter. Close line. Another one. And a run pulling up the ropes. I looked into the corner there. Oh, countered by Lashley again. Goes for the leg. Kick out by Rain. Oh, it's the spear. Rolls into the cover. One, two, three. Reigns gets the win. Reigns has pinned the Intercontinental Champion. Let's take another look at this. If we can, hopefully we'll get a look at the, re at the replay at the end. Roman's there. Reigns doesn't see him. He's looking at Lashley. Oh no! Roman Reigns blindsided by the monster among men. What the hell is this all about? Strowman picking up Roman Reigns and power slamming him down. My goodness. So what does this mean going forward? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for joining me here for another episode of King Books Raw. Please tune in to the entire King Book series throughout the week. Got a special pay-per-view coming up this Sunday, plus another one in about two weeks' time. That's going to be the first pay-per-view for Raw and SmackDown of this series. Thank you again so much for joining me. Have a nice night, and remember to be cool and have fun, everybody.